everyone welcome back to the 2018 granny square crochet along today we are making this really pretty square um it's called pretty pearls just trying to tuck my ends in there pretty pearls because we've got these kind of bobbly stitches going on here and around the outside so um pretty pearls is um is today's square you um ideally will need two colors obviously you can change colors um you don't even have to make them um in a pearl color if you don't want to um so grab your things and um, we'll get started in a sec um the only other thing i would say is um the pattern doesn't call for a stitch marker but there's just one particular place that i found a stitch marker was quite useful so grab one of those um as well or a paper clip or something to mark your stitch okay so grab your things and let's get started so our first round is this um, centre, so um, you need a colour for your centre and then your like pearl colour, so um, that's what you need to start. As usual, you can do a chain four and slip stitch to form your ring, or you can use a magic ring for this. And then you're going to do a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. And then you want to do 15 double crochets into the ring. And you will finish then with 16 stitches. So 15 double crochets into the ring. And I will see you back in a moment. Okay, so before you join with your slip stitch, just count your stitches back and make sure you have 16. And then, as usual, do your slip stitch in your top chain of three. Mine's gone a bit small, but just make sure you're going into that top chain of three. And then we're going to go on to the next round. Okay, I forgot to say that you want to fasten um, this colour off. Okay, fasten this colour off. And then just keep that colour to the side because you will be coming back to this colour. Okay, and then what you want to do is you're going to turn your work over and then you're going to join this new colour, your pearl colour, um, into um, a stitch um with a single crochet so um if you're not used to joining with a single crochet i'll show you that now so i've done a slip knot onto my hook pop your um, hook through the top of a double crochet and then just grab your yarn and pull through and then i like to see that this tail is over the top which is over the top of this yarn here so we catch that tail in to help secure it and then just yarn over and pull through just as you usually would and that's your single crochet um, if you find that tricky then just do a do a slip stitch and then do a single crochet and that's absolutely fine okay now we're going to work on um doing our little bobbly stitches we have done this before on one or two patterns um, so you will um, probably be familiar with it if you've been following us along um, this tail just keep it to the back um, we turn our work so that the bobbles come out on the front okay so into the same stitch you're going to do a treble crochet um, triple crochet so yarn over twice and insert into that very same stitch as your single crochet and do your treble crochet can get through my yarn. There we go. It has a, oops. Triple crochet. Don't you just love it when your stitches come off of your hook? <laughs> so we've got a single crochet and then a treble crochet. Okay. I know that looks a bit strange now, and you've got a sort of biggish loop here, but it will it will come good in the end. Um, I assure you. So you're going to go round all the next 16 stitches and remember when you get back to your own chain if you've started in a different place like me when you get back to your chain just make sure you do one in the top here as well okay so I'll show you this once more you're going to do in the next stitch you're going to do a single crochet keeping that tail at the back I'm just working that tail in and then a treble crochet in that very same stitch 
and you're going to do this all the way around if I can even get a treble stitch done <laughs> oh what is wrong with me today there we go so you can see now that we've done another stitch this first one has become a bit sort of bobbly okay so we'll do that once more a single crochet and then into the next one um, into the same stitch sorry a treble crochet there we go and you're going to do that all the way around back to the beginning so you will have 32 stitches altogether you have 16 singles and 16 treble crochets all the way around and i'll meet you back here to um finish off when you have done all 32 stitches if you're not quite sure um then you can just look around the front and count sort of 16 um 16 sets if you like so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and then onto the back you just want to find your first single crochet which will be this first little bit here okay so your first single crochet and do your slip stitch into there I apologise if you can hear a bit of banging. Um, I've got the window open. I need the window open for some air, but the blind is um, is banging a little bit. So I apologise if um, if you can hear that there. Um, okay, so that is your round two. Okay, now this is where you might find your stitch marker helpful. Okay, you're going to turn your work around and then you are going to ignore this first single crochet and treble crochet. So the first single crochet is where you've just slip stitched and then you've got your treble crochet next to it. And then you're going to go into the next single crochet. So that will be the stitch just here. Okay, and so just go into that single crochet. Make sure you've only got those two strands from the top. Can be a bit tricky. Um, let's go into that. See, I've got too many strands there. It's too thick. So let's just um, maybe it's because I'm going into the wrong stitch. There we go. Single crochet is here. Okay, can you see just here there's a gap? So you've got your treble crochet here and your single crochet here. I was going into the wrong place. <laughs> um, so go into there, that's your single crochet, okay? And do a single crochet in that space, uh, in that stitch there. And then grab your stitch marker and pop that into that stitch, just so you know that's where you've started, okay? Okay, now we're going to be working into just the single crochets. So just these single crochets all the way around. You can see these little gap there and then these this side, you've got your gap there, which is your single crochet. So that's where we're working in this round um, and from the front, okay? Um, and we're sort of doing um, a double crochet two together kind of thing. Um, so you're going to yarn over, insert into that same single crochet, um, where we've just been, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, insert into the next single crochet, which is here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then you've got three loops, yarn over and pull through both. So you've got these two um, partial double crochets going on together. And then you're going to chain two, and then you're going to do another one of those. Um, I think the pattern calls them a cluster stitch. You're going to go into the same stitch we've just finished in. Go in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go into the next single crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So you've done half of a double crochet there. Not a half double crochet, but half of a double crochet. <laughs> and then yarn over and pull through all three. So uh, then chain two. And then you're going to go into the same stitch and do a partial double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, next single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And you can see now what you've got forming are these kind of triangular um, 
V upside down V stitches are going on here with your chain twos in between. So you need to continue this all the way around, um, doing your two partial double crochets together with chain two in between. And I will meet you around here to finish off this round. Why is it blurry? Let's try that again. Okay, sorry for that blurry moment there. So when you've done your 15th, count around and see how many of these upside down Vs you've got. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I've got 15 and then I've done my first part of my 16th. And then I'm going to now take this stitch marker out of that stitch there and do my last one into this same stitch as the single crochet there and there you go that's your 16 um, cluster stitches so just um, go into this space here and um, just do a slip stitch and then I think we're fastening off this colour. No, are we fastening off this colour? Let me check. Okay, I had a bit of a brain freeze moment there. What colour are we on now? <laughs> we're going to continue in our pearl colour and we're going to chain one and then we're going to turn. Okay, going to turn. If you want to, you can always use your stitch marker to mark where the start of your round is. I know sometimes they get confusing where, your, where the start and finish of a round is especially if you're using small stitches um, so don't ever be afraid to use things to help you don't feel that you're being a bit daft or whatever um, you know I'm telling you to do it and I'm daft anyway so <laughs> okay moving on to round four we are going to we are going to do a single crochet and a single a treble and a single in each chain space so you are going to work into this first chain space here and you're going to do a single crochet so I had a banging blind before and now I've got sirens going what next today <laughs> so a single crochet and then a treble crochet and then another single crochet in that same space and this is going to make another one of your bobbly um, pearl stitches okay and then chain one and that will take you over to the next space where you're going to do another single treble and single and then a chain one and you're going to follow this all the way around doing a single, let's just, just do it once more together shall we, single, treble and single, make sure you don't go over that stitch, go to the side of it, there we go, single, treble, single and a chain one, do this all the way around in every space, this first one here um, well first one on the other side um, it wasn't actually a chain two but it's still a space so go into that and do your stitches there as well um, and I'll meet you back around here to fasten off okay so if you count back from the if you turn over to the front and you count around you should have 16 of these um, little pearl stitches okay and when you've got your 16 you are going to do a slip stitch into your first single crochet so that will be this very first single crochet not your chain one but your single crochet so do a slip stitch into there and then fasten this color off and get your original color um, ready to go okay so we're going to get ready for our squaring off round we're going to make the um, chain spaces where we will do our squaring off so into one of your chain one spaces so between your two pearl stitches you've got that chain one that you did so go into there and then join this however you find easiest 
um, but then you will need a single crochet so I'm going to start and just do a single crochet straight off but do it however you find easiest a slip stitch and then um, a single crochet is absolutely fine and then you're going to chain three go into the next chain one and do a single crochet chain three into the next stitch uh, sorry the next chain space do a single crochet and a chain three and follow this all the way around in every chain one space do a single crochet and then do three chains after that all the way around and then you should have 16 chain three spaces and 16 single crochets and I will meet you back around here to finish off okay when you have all your 16 chain three loops and single crochets you're going to do your last chain three well you have 15 and then your last chain three and then just join into that first single crochet with a slip stitch and we will be getting ready now to move on to round six So we have a lovely um, circle going on here, a lovely circle of pearls, but we need it to be square. So we're going to start squaring off. Now, the pattern tells us to work into this um, chain space that we're already in. I find that a little bit tricky, to be honest. So I'm going to do a slip stitch over into the next chain space, okay, and then work around um, as as we normally do and then we'll you will do this chain space last okay doesn't make any difference at all um, just makes it a bit easier to get your stitches in there so do a chain four count as your first treble crochet and then do three more treble crochets into this um, chain space one two three and then in the next chain space you're just working in chain spaces now you'll probably be quite familiar with this um, method of squaring off if you've been following us for a while so in this next um, space we're going to do three double crochets Oops. one two three double crochets in the next three half double crochets two three half double crochets in the next back to three double crochets one two and three and then in the next space um, these treble crochets are going to be your corner okay and this this is only part of a corner here we're going to finish it off when we come back um, so in this, in this um, space here we're going to do a full corner and that is seven treble crochets one two three you don't need to watch me make seven treble crochets I'll get back to you when I've got seven okay seven treble crochets in this corner so what you're going to do is follow this around now and do um, three double crochet, three half double crochet, three double crochet, and then a corner of seven treble crochet. I'll follow that all the way around. When you get back to this corner, you're going to do um, three treble crochet to finish that off. Um, and then you will slip stitch into your top chain. So that will be the fourth chain. Okay, but I'll meet you back around here to finish off. Okay, so when you've done all your stitches, you are going to join into the top chain here, which will be your fourth chain because it was a, as a treble, not a double, which we're used to. There we go. There is your first round with it now looking quite square. So we are going to move on to doing our last round of pearls and then we'll be doing a final round of our 
um, our other colour. Okay, so grab your, um, fasten this off and then grab your pearl colour. Okay, round seven, I do believe. Round seven. So we're going to join our pearl colour into a corner, but on the other side. So turn it over. Remember, we do it on the opposite side, so on the wrong side, so we get our pearls coming out on the front. So you want to find your middle treble crochet stitch, so it'll be your fourth one. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to join in with a single crochet. Oops, getting tangled up here. There are a lot of yarn tails going on. But it's worth it, absolutely worth it for this. Um, it does make make a very pretty square. So we've got a single crochet, and now into the same stitch, you're going to do a treble crochet. Oops, that's only a double. Let's try that again. One, two. So a single crochet we've already done. And now we're doing a treble crochet, making a pretty pearl here on this corner, and another single crochet in this corner stitch. Okay, so we've made a very nice, pretty, bobbly pearl on that side there. And then all the way around, you are going to do a treble crochet so the next stitch is a treble crochet and then the next stitch is a single crochet next is a treble and the next is a single and you're going to do this all the way around. So the next is a treble. And you will find you're getting all these lovely, pretty pearls on the front of your work. Really nice effect. So single. And then a treble. All the way down. And you have this really pretty effect starting here. So you're going to do that all the way down. And when you get to your corner... On that middle stitch, one, two, three, four, you are going to do exactly the same as you did here. You're going to do a single, a treble, and a single all into the same stitch. So you're making one pearl right in that very corner stitch. Okay, all the way round, treble, single, treble, single, treble, single, one in each stitch, and in your corner, single, treble, single. All the way around, and I'll meet you back around here at the beginning, or the end. So when you have finished your round um, of single crochet, treble crochet, you should have finished on a treble and then you're going to find your first single crochet in this corner and do a slip stitch through that single crochet and then fasten this colour off and grab your um, other colour to do our very last round. Okay, so for this final round, you want to join into your corner treble crochet. Now that's this one that's sort of folded over a bit um, here. Um, so if you look at your corner stitch, you've got um, this kind of, um, how am I going to focus? You've got this kind of wide bit of stitch here, which will be your treble crochet. And each side you've got smaller um, stitches and they will be your single crochet. So you need it to be this big part here in the middle. Um, join in there with a single crochet. Or again, however you prefer to join and then do a single crochet. Okay, so you've got a single crochet there. And then you're going to do two more single crochets in that stitch. Nice and simple. And now, really simple, you are going to go all the way around your square. And you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So that will be in each single crochet and in each treble crochet. Okay, so we've done three in the middle. So then you've got a single crochet here. 
It might be easy if you count along going single treble, single treble, then you'll know that you've done enough all the way along. Okay, I don't actually have a stitch count for this, um, so I'm afraid I can't help you there. But if you just go along saying single treble, single treble, and then you will know that you're in the right place. Single the trebles will always be slightly bigger um, strands, so single, treble, follow it around, single, treble. I'm making this before the pattern is finalised, so it is possible that we might have a stitch count in the pattern by the time you're seeing this. But right at the moment, I don't have a stitch count. And um, I didn't stop to count myself. I could have counted them, couldn't I? Ah, hindsight, what a wonderful thing. <laughs> so continue it all the way along, making sure you're going in every treble and in every single. Doing a single crochet. Nice and simple. And then make sure when you get to your corner stitch, if you're not sure, just count back one, two, three, four. That's your corner one. And you're going to do three single crochets in your corner treble crochet okay all the way around and this is actually your final round um but if this round isn't quite big enough for you then i would say do another round of single crochet i would say do double or half double but i think that the single crochet round just finishes it off nicely without anything too big and wide and it's nice and it's, it's fairly solid single crochet whereas double crochet is a bit sort of you know floppier so all the way around and when you get to the end you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet so i will see you um back around this side somewhere so just while i'm finishing my last side i thought i would pop on um, and tell you that the details for the facebook group are in the description box below if you haven't joined our group um, why not come over and um, and join us there? Um, chance to upload photos of your squares, which we love to see. Everyone loves to see people's squares, what they've made. Um, and every night, well, I say night, it's night in my time. Um, but every day we upload a new pattern. Um, with the written pattern and chart for you to um, use and of course the videos every day um, if you haven't already subscribed why not subscribe hit that alarm bell and you'll be notified as soon as a new video goes live um, and you can come and get early access there because the videos always um, well usually go up a little bit before the pattern goes up on our facebook group so um do hit that subscribe button um as always for april i am making this square using blue for um support of autism awareness um and a link to the autism awareness group is in the description box below as well if you wish to seek that out um, if you wish to show some support and use blue as well this month that would be awesome and I look forward to seeing those pictures in our group albums. So there is our pretty pearl square all finished. Now, if you've flattened some of these when you've been going around putting your fingers and thumbs on, then just give them a puff and um, just give them a bit of a puff up. Um, but there we go. So pretty. I love these little bubbles that are going on. Love it. Love it. Love it. Beautiful square in um, whatever colour you choose and I don't know if you can see it on camera but my cream has a little bit of sparkle which is perfect for pearls so there we go beautiful square for um, for today so if you found this video useful and helpful please give us a thumbs up give us a like and um, until next time just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold